Lesson 6.8, Write Related Multiplication and Division Facts. Related facts are a set of addition and subtraction equations that involve the same numbers such as 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Related facts are also a set of multiplication and division equations that involve the same numbers. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 and 5 times 2 is equal to 10. They are inverse operations. Addition and subtraction are inverse operations and multiplication and division are inverse operations. We learned about that in the last video 6.7 which is linked in the description if you need it. We can use an array as a model to show how multiplication and division are related. The array can help us write related multiplication and division equations that contain related facts. In this first array, we have two rows with three in each row. That's two times three. There's six in all. Two times three is equal to six. We have six in all divided into two rows with three in each row. Six divided by two is equal to three. If we turn the array on its side, we have three rows with two in each row, which is equal to six, and we have six in all divided into three rows, which is equal to two in each row. Six divided by three is equal to two. Two, three, and six make related multiplication and division equations. We can use a triangle to show related facts. We have a factor 3 in this corner, the other factor 6 in this corner, and the product 18 down here. We have two multiplication equations. 3 times 6 is equal to 18, and 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Here we have our dividend 18, and we have a 3 in this corner and a 6 in this corner, and we can write 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6, or 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. There are two multiplication equations and two division equations for 3, 6, and 18. There are related facts that only have one multiplication equation and one division equation. Both factors are the same number in this multiplication equation. Both factors are a 3, and our product is a 9. And the related division equation, the dividend, and the quotient are the same number. When both factors are the same number, there's only one multiplication equation. And when the dividend and quotient are the same number, there's only one division equation. Can you think of other related facts that have only one multiplication equation and one division equation? We can write the related facts for this array. We have 14 counters in all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are two rows with 7 in each row. We can write 2 times 7 is equal to 14, and 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. The product in the multiplication equation is the same amount as the dividend in the related division equation. We can write related facts for a set of numbers. We have 4, 8, and 32. We can write 4 times 8 is equal to 32. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. And 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. We have 4, 9, and 36. We can write 4 times 9 is equal to 36. 9 times 4 is equal to 36. 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. And 36 divided by 9 is equal to 4. Division can undo multiplication by breaking the dividend apart into equal groups that were combined to find the product. We have 
two groups of five as two times five, and it's equal to the product 10. We break the dividend apart, this 10, into the equal groups that were combined to find the product. Here we have them, two groups of five. We have a factor and a factor and a product. We have a dividend, a divisor, and a quotient. Keep working on memorizing your multiplication facts. By the end of this chapter six, you should have your multiplication facts for four, all memorized. So keep working on it. Here we have a word problem that's giving us a table with data, information, to help us solve it. Mr. Park divides one package of cherry and one package of orange jelly beans equally among five students. How many more orange than cherry jelly beans does each student get? So let's look at this table first. It's a table of jelly beans. We have the flavors, cherry, lemon, and orange. It tells us the number in a package. Cherry has 10 in a package, lemon has nine, and orange has 25. We need to find how many more orange than cherry jelly beans each student gets. And there's five students. So the first thing we do is find how many cherry they each get. We know there's five students. There's 10 cherry in each package. We do 10 divided by five. That's equal to two cherry each. Then we find how many orange they each get. There's 25 orange in a package. There's five students. We do 25 divided by the five students, and that's equal to five orange each. Then we use subtraction to find how many more orange than cherry. There's five orange each minus the two cherry each. That's three more orange than cherry. We had to use division then division again, then subtraction to find the answer to this word problem. So remember, related facts are a set of equations that involve the same numbers and they're inverse operations. So we can write a set of multiplication and division equations that involve the same numbers. And also remember that some related facts only have one multiplication equation and one division equation. We're going to talk about dividing with 1 and 0 in the next lesson, and I hope I'll see you there. Have a great day. Bye.